What's up guys, Matt from Vapeviews here, back again to help keep you up to date with the latest and greatest in vaping news and content. Now, what I've got for you for this video is an absolute doozy. We recently copped the Hydrology 9 Portable Herbal Vaporizer by Cloudius 9. Now, this vape has come direct from America, it's US designed and manufactured, so you can be rest assured that it's got some pretty high design standards. I tried it a couple weeks back at a mate's place and I was just shocked by the quality of it. Like not only the aesthetics and the amount that's gone into the design work of this sort of ultra expensive salt and pepper shaker crossed with lava lamp. Uh, it's just one of the most outstanding portable vaporizers in terms of an experience that I've really come across. Like straight away off the bat, you pop the top off and it's got a pretty ingenious way of keeping the aqua uh, supply in there. So it's got this little metal ball bearing in the top that sort of stops the water from running out while you're using it. But in some other devices, like the Focus Vape pictures here that we've seen with a spill-proof aqua bubbler, this model isn't necessarily spill-proof. So when you're using it, a bit of care has got to be taken to ensure that you're not tipping it up. One of the most ingenious things that I found with this device is how portable and discreet it is. Now, when you're talking about something this size, you're not really talking about portability and discreetness doesn't come into it that much. It's more about sort of the style and the flavor of the vapor that you're getting. But with this leather carry case here that we've got included with every model from Vapefuse, you can pop it inside, conceal the top, and basically look like you're just carrying around a thermos. So if you're someone that loves to get out on the go vaping, so when you're hiking or boating or doing any sort of outdoor activity and you wanna have a vape with you to medicate, all you gotta do is just put it inside this handy carry case and no one will be none the wiser. So this is a vape is a favorite of mine for a couple of reasons. So first, obviously it is the design. So if you're someone like me that's uh, come from smoking to vaping and have to transition from using like a water pipe or smoking joints to vaping, then it's obviously gonna be a little bit more welcoming if you've got something that you're a bit familiar with. So I was obviously used to the slow draw of a water pipe, the coolness of the smoke and now vapor that comes through it and just the way that it enhances the experience. So I've always been drawn to vaporizers that come with aqua bubbles included in them. I'm currently using the Cloud V Electro Mini at home as my e-rig, which has an included spill-proof aqua bubbler, as well as one of the first vapes that I got to try out here, the Focus Vape. So the Focus Vape, I'm pretty sure this is the pro. So this is the latest in the generation of Focus Vape devices. And all you do is just fill up the spill-proof aqua bubbler, clip it onto the top, and the vapor that's gonna be coming out of your chamber is gonna be a lot smoother than if you were just using the glass mouthpiece on top. Now the reason I like the Hydrology so much is it's combined the technology of the spill-proof aqua bubbler with the vaporizer into one nifty package. Now nifty is one of the words that I've often heard to describe this vaporizer. It's just fantastic how modular it is. The top unscrews here, which sort of reveals where you put in the water. Under there you can pull out a little filter. The whole glass part comes off for cleaning. If we're looking at filling the device, once you've put the little mouthpiece back on, it's actually got a magnet in the top that pulls up the ball bearing to sort of further uh, resist any water that's looking to leak out. So when you're filling it from the bottom, you just unscrew it and it'll reveal the full ceramic baking chamber. So this one's had a couple of blasts through it already, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, the chamber is a white ceramic one, so it's known for its great pure flavor and durability. So as long as you get the brush in there and keep it reasonably clean, you're not gonna have any issues. So if I'm looking to pack this one after I've fully charged it, you just invert it. You take your ground herb, which I crossed earlier with my grinder roof, four piece metal herb grinder, and just pack it into the top of the device. You know that I love a vaporizer with an awesome kit. That's one of the reasons why I'm so drawn to the Ariza range of portables. And the Hydrology 9's kit does impress. It's one of the most sort of scientifically minded kits that I've come across in all vaporizers. Because when you look at the device, it's pretty, looks a bit like it's something you'd find in a laboratory itself. So the first packing tool is this sort of longer flat one, which also can be used to clean out the device. You can sort of scrape around the sides a little bit and get any excess resin. I'm just gonna pack it in there. So I filled it up to about two thirds, which the manual recommends. So then all you gotta do is just screw this back on the top. And this heating pan you can see in the bottom, aside from helping to heat the uh, herb evenly, you can actually stir it mid-session, which is awesome. So for someone that's looking to not have to take the top off each time, take out the herb and put it back in to be getting that full vaping experience, all you have to do is just screw this part on and kind of like you would with a salt and pepper shaker, you just turn this little dial here at the top and you can turn your herb mid-sesh. 
So this one does take a little bit to heat up, but just kick back, put your feet up, relax, and just enjoy the technology. And if you're someone that likes a little something to look at while your device is heating up, once it's turned on, you can just click. So I put it on the third temperature setting to begin with. Now that it's heating up, you can see that it's flashing to indicate. If you want to get a bit of an LED light show going while you do that, and just hold down the button for a few seconds, and you've got yourself a handy little table ornament to stare at while it heats up. Now, while that's doing its thing, let's have a look at the kit a little bit. So, aside from the packing tool, which I already talked about, it's this flat little concave one. So it's for loading and packing. It also comes with this handy little cleaning tool. So it's got one pointy little end for cleaning the screen and keeping all of the chamber sort of fresh of resin, as well as this little one here for getting to hard to reach places in the aqua bubbler. Aside from that, it also comes equipped with two cleaning brushes. The first is a kind of plug brush, similar to that that comes with the Vapir Prima, and that's for keeping the vapor path clean of particles. The second is for dealing with resin. It's a little bit fatter and it'll fit into a, a bit of a wider space. This one's would be a bit more uh, useful for cleaning the chamber, less than the vapor path, which would be with this one. So yeah, they've pretty much just kitted you out with an entire selection to keep your vape maintained and looking fresh. Now, the leather carry case. If you're buying it from VapeFuse, you're going to get a Cladius 9 carry case included in your kit. It comes apart into two pieces like this. It pretty much reminds me of something you used to shake dice in backgammon. The box itself is also very well presented. They've got a, a similar style that they've stuck with throughout all of the uh, additional accessories as well. Green and white, similar to what I've seen with the packs. So it's very well presented, as you can see. A lot of care has gone into the box and its accessories. These little green things down here is how the accessories come packaged. And so as well as all of these tools, you're also getting your AC adapter and the USB charging cable. Now, the flavor. It's a full ceramic chamber, and generally, I've got pretty good things to say about ceramic. Devices like the DaVinci IQ and the Focus Vape, pictured next to me, have a pretty decent flavor. They're, that coupled with the glass mouthpiece always makes for a nice, consistently dense vapor. And you're gonna look for a pretty big cloud coming out of that. So it's almost ready to be hit now, as you can see. This flashing will just kick off in a second, and it'll hit a solid green. So I'll flick it back on. So looking at that, I'm heating it up to orange right now, but it's got five heat settings. So the lowest is blue, and it goes to yellow, orange, purple, and kicks off on red. So now as you can see, it's just sitting on a solid green indicating that it's ready to be hit. All you gotta do is you just kick off that little mouthpiece cover at the top, make sure that the airway is free. And pretty much just inhale slowly like a water pipe. So as you can see, that's one of the most phenomenal vaporizers I've come across in terms of vapor production. And even though that was a massive cloud of vapor, I barely felt it on the throat. It was extremely cool. A very pleasant vaping experience. Just consistency. If you're someone that's on the lookout for an ultra premium herbal vaporizer, or have been looking at kicking that smoking habit and getting into vaping, Check out the Hydrology 9 Vaporizer, coming soon in the Vapefuse store. Thanks for watching guys, and remember to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in vaping news and content.